Hey, what's going on? Terry Arcade back with a brand new video. In this video, I'm basically going to show me unboxing from my storage. I haven't opened them up yet. Um, this is the box I'm going to be opening up the PS2, and this is box number 14. That was my storage. I haven't got to it yet. So this one is number 35 and it does have the Xbox Lego dimension base figures extra base um, it has some Disney Infinity 2.0 base and figures Skylanders base and figures that one I'm not really going to open because I already know what's probably in that one just all a bunch of Skylanders if I want to play it then I'll open it up but I think it's Xbox 360 um, there's no PS3 um disney infinity this one is just xbox xbox items in here and this is the one i'm gonna get to i found this one i haven't opened it up as a ps2 um number 14 and basically i am going to open this one up um let you guys see what's inside i know it's ps2 games might be a mixture of different things maybe ps1 um i just put a whole bunch of ps2 games in there when i was uh, moving I'm not too sure if it's going to be good games in there or not. So basically, I'm just going to open them up. Um, let you look as I open, take them out of the box. And I'm going to put sleeves in there. I don't think they have um, any um, CD sleeves to protect them. So all the ones that's going to be like expensive ones, I'm going to put them in the sleeves. So let's get into this video. Before I open it up, I'm going to show you live me opening up right now not too sure how many um, games are in there but so still so I'm gonna open it up and get you a little sneak peek in here okay, box it hope I cut the games up in there okay take a little sneak peek in there I know I'll put some plastic inside too oh okay so just a little sneak peek and you guys can see what I'm going to pull out. Do you see some of you? Okay, this is a sneak peek right here. Okay, that's it for you. And I'll show you. Um, put them on the table and I'll put some sleeves in there. Uh, let's get into the video. Okay, I'm back. I put the box, open it up. And I took out one game already and I was getting it set up. I took out... Uh, it was a FIFA game from the top. Get that out of the way. That was the suck one. I'll put that down and I do have my stack of sleeves and I have some more on, on off to the side. So let's get on to the first one. Um, I did put this in like a plastic covering inside too. So let me see if I can get all of these out. Get the ones loose ones out. Okay. So I get that okay so the first one is going to be uh, it's a need for speed on the ground too I'm gonna put this on the sleeve <clears throat> yeah, it was open already so I guess it was a little damage so it goes to disc um, this is just a <clears throat> unboxing um, my moving moving ps2 games Get that out of the sleeve. I'm just gonna put all the ones that's um, expensive. What I think is expensive goes a disc. Oops, goes a disc right here. PS2. I'm starting to open all my boxes. The ones that I didn't get to. Okay. So I'm gonna start <clears throat> playing all my PS2 games and stuff like that. Flip it over and put it to the side right there. Put it right to next. Let's see, next one is. Let me know if you guys got any of these games. It's kind of hard. Let me I'll put that down like this. What's the maximum? Maximus Army. What's that? Max Maxo Army versus Army of Zing. You guys are UPC if you want to check that out. That's how it looks like in the back. Second side is complete. Disc, check out the disc. 
take the these this out I'm putting all the ones I think it might have the um might be pricey so I'll put that in this let me look at the disc is good yeah disc is in good condition put that back in Just like that I play a little bit of this one so I'm gonna make how many parts of this um, unboxing my PS2 I'm not too sure how many I'm not make these videos too long maybe 15 minutes so next one is going to be uh, true crimes street of LA sounds like this don't have a, a manual in there yeah it doesn't have a manual not too sure what price for this one I think it's probably not that much but I'm not gonna put that in the sleeve I'm just gonna put the ones that I think might be expensive I'll oh, grab some more put them to the side the okay, next one is going to be um, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Um, goes to UPC. That's how it looks like in the back. This one is complete. Check out the disc. Yeah, the disc is in uh, good condition. Just little smudges on there. But the, this one. PS2 games, I'm not really going to put all of them into the sleeves. I'm just basically putting all the ones that I think is good into the sleeve. So next one, ah, another FIFA. Um, not too sure. I know I was collecting all the FIFAs. So I'm not too sure if this is going to be expensive or not. This is um, FIFA 2. I know one of them is uh, expensive. The later ones. It's complete. Got the disc. Uh, it's a blue disc, has fingerprints on there, so that one, I'm 100% sure what the price is on this one, so I'm going to put that to the side, but the ones I know offhand, well, I know it might be expensive, I do have some in the plastic, I'm not going to put that in plastic, put that in, let's go grab the next one, let's see what else I have right here, okay, this one, I already put this one in, uh, time splitters too, this one's already has the um, sleeve in there. You see right there. There goes the UPC. So check it out in the back. I am going to start playing in all my PS2 games. Um, now the Xbox 360 store is closed. I'm going to get into some other games now. I am still going to show some Xbox 360 games. But I didn't have enough time to get around to it. Um, I showed a lot of, um, um, we was at Xbox Live Arcade Digital. So I hope you guys check that out. So, but after this video, I think the store might be closed. But let's get on to the next one. I'm just going to grab some random ones. Okay, here goes some. Okay, so this one is Bejeweled 2. This is Hits Volume 1 Pops. Astro Pops. Um, we got the UPC right there. Uh, this is a good game. Um, I like the Bejeweled. They do have this for the Xbox 360 too. I would have played on Xbox 360 and I don't think I am going to put this in, in the box. It's two, two games into one. Let me check. <clears throat> Complete and let me check out the disc. Okay, this is in good condition, like new. I hate that noise, so let's get on to the next one. Okay, Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. You see that? Okay, so you proceed. Check out the back. Sorry about the glare. So this one, I'm not too sure if it has the, it feels like it has the manual now, I'm not too sure. Yeah, it doesn't have the manual. So this one I am going to probably put into a sleeve. Pop that open. Yeah, I'm putting it into a sleeve. Check out the disc. Disc is in uh, like new condition. And you can play this on the um, Xbox. I think I you can play this on the Xbox One. Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, you can play this on the Xbox One. I'm not too sure if, it, if it's this one that you can play on the Xbox One or upgrades. 
and do I think they do have a new one coming out or it already came out already for the NAI Jones I just want to have an Xbox One X so I played that for a little bit it's pretty good um, playing um, upgrade so that's one so I got one two three four five six seven eight games right here <clears throat> let's go on to the next one okay next one is gonna be Monkey Island Escape from Monkey Island PS2 and I do they do have for the Xbox one no Xbox 360 I think Xbox 360 Monkey Island 1 and 2 as uh, a digital not too sure if they're both the same they go to uh, UPC check the UPC out if you guys want to check that out get that I am going to start playing all my old um, PS2 games and um, upload some gameplay to it too I am gonna probably put this one in uh, into a sleeve put the games to the side it's complete and I'm gonna put this one to a sleeve check out the disc Monkey Island PS2 disc is in uh, good condition get a sleeve for it I started building up my collection PS2. I started collecting a long time ago, but I did. I sold some of my uh, PS2 games, and I we got back into it seriously back in um, what was it, 2007? I think no, no, 2008. I did have some before that, but and when Xbox 360 came out and PS3, I was playing on that, and I didn't really get into stop playing my PS2. The only reason I played uh, my PS2, I put them in my, my PS3 to go um, HD and my uh, HD TV. But this Monkey Island, let's get to the next one. This one, not 100% sure what the price might be on this one. So this is a Burnout. I guess it's the original one. First one, uh, it goes to UPC. So it looks like in the back. Pop it open. It is complete. I don't think I'm gonna put this one to a sleeve until I'm gonna check out the prices off camera. Look at the disc. This is in uh, light new, new condition. I try to get my games in good condition, but sometimes when you buy them off offline, so you do get some scratch ones. And I do have a resurfacer that that can um, buff it out. It does burn out. And let me know if you guys play any of these games. Next one. It's going to be a uh, Burnout Revenge. This is the greatest hits. Now, some people don't like the greatest hits because of the red line. But me, I don't care. I just collect games, buy games. If it's a good deal, I'll buy it. That's how it looks like in the back. I don't know if you can see it from the glare. This is complete. Yep, it is complete. Open it up and check that disc out. Disc is in like new condition. Not too sure what the price is going for this one. Burnout Revenge. So I'm going to do maybe a few more. Then we're going to get into the next part. So I'm not going to let this video go too long. Pull out some more for the bottom. Okay, we got uh, Hunter. The wrecking was it Ray Ray Ward uh Ray Ward can't see from the glare so I think this is the first one I played it um it's it's pretty good I think you can play this on the um Xbox One backwards no not the Xbox One the Xbox 360 backwards compatibility if you have the original um xbox game you can pop it into your um, xbox 360 you can play it that way but you have to have it um updated your system has to be updated for it to play all your original xbox games so i'll pop that open i don't think this was not that much in this one so there you go for that one okay so i think that one is going to be the last one let's get on to the next one so this is this part one 
then part two, part three. I don't know how many parts I'm going to go through. But this is the end of this video. Until next time, Terry Arcade. Later.